Hello everybody and welcome to my comic review. I am Rainbow Red Panda and today I am reviewing Trillium number two. Now I just finished this and so I thought it would be good to do a perspective of freshly after reading a comic. Normally I wait a few hours or at least a day or two before I do a review but this one I don't know there's just something about it I just felt like it was so important that even though I won't be able to publish it until tomorrow um, I wanted to do the review now. So this one is different than the first issue um, in a lot of ways. One, it's only one-sided. It's not double-sided like the first one. It follows the story of William and Mika still, but they are sort of interacting with each other in a not-so-normal way at all. Um, one is from space. One is from Earth completely different time periods. One is from the 20s, one is from like the year like 3500 something. Um, don't speak the same language at all. They, it's, it's basically just back and forth dialogue. Instead of having the double covers, this time it's like back and forth like one page will be Nika, one page will be William, and they're just trying to communicate with each other and they do not understand each other at all. No language at all is being understood. They're very confused. Finally, they try to drop pictures, and yeah, it, it just, it doesn't work out. And it's it's really interesting. At first, I was like, I didn't know how, like, reading it, because I'm like, okay, there's no, like, actual dialogue. It's kind of like they're both like, wonder what he's saying, and I wonder what she's saying. And they kind of just try to figure out, like, I think I know him from somewhere. Maybe he's from, from Spain, you know? Like, it's just, it's things like that. And I'm just like, I don't know if I can, if I can do this, like, this isn't right. But then they start to try to communicate with each other through pictures because, you know, even if you don't speak the same language, like, you can still, like, try to draw, you know, a story and, you know, if someone who speaks, like, Dutch tries to draw me a picture of a bear, I can, you know, bears are the same in every language. Um, so that's not, you know, what happens here. But they try to kind of draw, like, you know, where they're from and he draws that he's from, from Britain. And she draws that she is from space, and he gets confused because she's not a very good artist, which I would be in the same boat. I would be like, um, I can't draw, so we're gonna see what happens. I can draw if I, if I try really, really hard, but yeah, just trying to draw something like in the, in the sand or something, I don't think it would work out well for me, so I'd be exactly like her. Um, finally, they kind of, she looks up into the sky and sees like the stars and the constellations, and she gets confused because... You know, she's from the future. She has, like, all of this stuff. She has, like, a translator that doesn't understand what he's saying at all. She has some sort of, like, constellation watch that, like, puts all the constellations from where she's from up. And they can't match any of the constellations at all. But they do determine that she is in Earth. She's confused because in the time period that she's from, something's happened to Earth. And I guess we're not around. Um, just things like that. They end up drawing... She draws a clock, which... I guess sort of makes sense, but he's thinking time, not year, um, and she draws, you know, what she writes what year in numbers of what year she's from, and then she knows that he's from 1921 because one of her things that she has that tells her, like, where she is says something about the time period that she's in right now is 1921. So she's like, 1921? And he's like, yes. And then she shows him this, and like, that's where she's from. They both kind of get confused. And, I don't know, Trillium is sort of about, it sort of revolves around a plant. Um, it's this white flower. She ate it, and then sort of, I don't know if it was like a hallucinogenic type thing, but somehow she ended up, you know, with him outside of this temple. And they both find the Trillium, they're both, you know, they both say Trillium, and they're like, that's the common word, like, it's common between them. And, I don't know, just stuff happens. Um, she ends up sort of going into the temple, and that's sort of almost where it ends. Um, I feel like I've given a lot away, I don't want to give everything away, but it, it's, it's an interesting series. I, I really like it. Um, it's a Vertigo comic, so it's not something that's, like, really mainstream, which I like. And I think Vertigo is kind of up and coming. I saw some um, previews for some stuff in here, like this, Coffin Hill. I'm probably going to have to go and subscribe to that because I think that it looks, it looks interesting. So I'm going to have to put that on my poll, at least for the first issue. Um, it's also something my story is going to order, so I'll have to special order it for sure. But I don't know, I think Vertigo's up and coming, and I think that they have a lot of good things to offer. And 
I don't know, Trillium really interests me. Um, it, it does sort of revolve around this plant, but what the plant does, if what they're both using it for could be, you know, it's kind of a mystery. So it'll be interesting to see if, in the third issue, if if these two characters will continue to interact because they've been separated and, you know, depending on just circumstances, whether or not, you know, they'll be reunited or if they'll just have, like, their separate stories that both tell about the plant. In the end, I think that they'll they'll get back together and they'll come together and, you know, do something. Um, but it's only time to tell. But I, it's, it's definitely something I would suggest reading. I think it's a really good read and it's something that you should definitely pick up if you're not reading it already. So... That's all I have. I don't know. Um, I really like it, and I think that you should read it. That's the basis of all of this. Um, the first issue is a lot different than this one, um, and I know a lot of people are waiting for it for trade, but I could I could see the advantage. Like reading it in trade is going to be a lot easier, and especially after reading this issue. I can see how the trade is going to go. It's going to be like for the first issue. It's going to be like kind of I'm guessing the same format where she it's like a scene of her and then a scene of him it's gonna be like back and forth kind of like this so I don't know that's all I have if you guys have read this comic let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and that's all I have so I will see you guys with my next review bye